Hey guys, Papa Blastoise and Katie Piplup uh, on our way to the LC in Winona, Minnesota, uh, Jimmy Jams. Uh, this will be our second, sorry about the road noise here guys. This will be our second LC. Um, to be brutally honest with you guys, I still have no idea what I'm going to be running for a deck. It's between two of them. Katie's going to be playing Volcanion, I think, right? Yeah, Volcanion until we get the our night rain. Yeah, we're, we're kind of on a mission while we're going. We left a little early because there's a huge snowstorm coming through, uh, possibly blizzard conditions, and you might even get to see that on the way home. It's probably going to be a very long drive home. Uh, anyhow, as we're going through, we're stopping. Uh, we need Yeti LEXs, and the best way I can think of getting them is to buy them in those tin forms and so far we've stopped at one place we got lucky we found two of them but we don't have the whole thing and yeah we'll check in later So guys, let's talk about a few things. When we go to these LCs, uh, you guys just get to normally see just a small bit of what's actually going on at these LCs. I guess what I really appreciate is I get to talk to the players, the parents, and all that type of stuff, and get their feel for what they're seeing in the Pokemon community. Um, the other thing that you don't realize is some reasons we go to specific locations because of how the shop is set up and the people that play at them. And Winona, for us, is a really good fit. It's a family-orientated um, environment where everybody's there uh, even though it's a competition, nobody needs to be a jerk about things, and that is half the reason that we like Winona. Alright guys, so let's do a recap. Today is the next day. Uh, I apologize, this video is going to be getting up late. Uh, drove home in the snow, it took a little bit longer, but we made it home safe. Uh, I'll post a video of what it looks like outside now. We made it home safe, and this is kind of what the outside looks like uh, what Katie and I had to drive through getting home. Anyhow, I kind of want to go over some really cool stuff that I got yesterday. Um, let's start off with last LC. Um, I play second overall. Uh, first in Masters, but second overall. Um, and when I went back, they had this for me. It's a second place uh, Mew promo. League challenge card, sorry. It's a league challenge card. Um, for second place, I don't know if it'll show up. There you go. And basically, I didn't know I was going to get it until we went back there. They just got it in the mail. Um, and I suppose you're wondering how I ended up in the LC. Um, I went two and one. Um, I lost to a Trevenant um, deck. However, I wasn't bitter about it at all. Uh, it turns out that the guy I was playing was Caleb. Um, as it sits right now, I believe he's number 12 in Masters in the U.S. right now. So overall, I can't complain. I mean, I'm not... I'm trying to play competitively, but this is my second um, challenge that I've done. So I ended up fourth overall, or else it would have been, let's see, it would be third in Masters, I guess. Um, Malachi showed up again, and he kind of fooled me. He walked in with his Mega Rayquaza stuffed animal around his neck and stuff. So I didn't think he'd play Rayquaza. But when he started walking in like that, you know, the mentality part of it is um, he put on a pretty good bluff. He ended up playing uh, Whale Lord, uh, a version of Whale Lord, which was pretty, you'll see in the interview. I, I talked to 
uh, Malachi a little bit. So you guys heard me talk about uh, this gentleman last time, but I forgot his name. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm Malachi, and yeah. I'm, I'm the senior. And you guys, you've been traveling all over this year playing yep. in uh, different games. You just uh, went to Fort Wayne. What did you play at Fort Wayne? Uh, I played Eve called Garbador. And how about today? What did you run? I ran Wayward. How was that? Was that fun? Yeah. Kind of a trolley deck, but it works really good. Not as, not, not as trolly as what you ran last time. Well, that's true. That's true. Night March, I, I understand. That's a pretty cancerous deck. But how'd you end up for today? Um, I, I won second place. But first and senior, yeah. so. So that's, he got his points, and he's pretty happy about that. And you're going to be heading to where next? In, in California. So make sure to check out uh, Malachi as he goes down there. Thanks for uh, playing and hanging out with me. Bye. Um, I wasn't able to talk to Caleb at all. Um, he had a three and a half hour drive home also. They have started doing these, the badges. And I picked up two of them. And basically you have, when you go into a league, you have two ways of playing. You can either do it as a competitor or as a, um, just a, play uh, weekly play type deal which at our other league that I haven't posted any videos of in Mankato um, I'll sign up for the play up there but I'm going to keep uh, Winona as a um, competitive um, thing because that's the only time we get to drive over there it's a three hour drive so it's a long drive anyhow I think that's enough rambling on here uh, I do want to say I mean we're gaining so many friends in Winona, um, and we'll continue to always go back there, especially for competitions and stuff. Uh, it's half the reason that I was willing to drive through snow and whatnot to go over there. Alex, Sarah, Nick, um, Todd, Malachi, I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple uh, people over there. I know I talked to a lot more people, and I just forgot your name. I, I'm sorry. You know who you are. Uh, I talked to you guys. I had a really great conversation with you guys about uh, your feelings about different things, about leagues and points and whatnot. Um, one last thing I did want to point out. Katie did place uh, seventh overall. Um, it was her first uh, competition. Uh, she played Volcanion. I played Mega Rayquaza. Um, not going to lie, I didn't know until 30 minutes before which deck I was going to play. I was either going to play Night March or Mega Ray. Um, the only reason I went with Mega Ray is due to the fact that I've been testing them on PTCGO. I'm 80% wins with Mega Ray. I'm running about 60% with uh, Night March lately. So that's why I did run the Mega Ray. Um, Katie did not want to run Volcanion, but it's all I had with me at the time that she could really run. Um, one second, as we were driving there, we left early due to the fact that there's a lot of snow coming and the deck that Katie wants to play, I do not have any of the EXs. So as we were driving, we left an hour and a half early, we started stopping at any place that had Pokemon cards because I knew that if I could pick these up for 20 bucks, I needed three of them. If I could pick them up for 20 bucks each, basically the packs inside, I'm only paying 254 because I would have to buy the uh, Evolto EXs for Katie's deck. I have the little baby ones, but I don't have the EXs. So Katie and I did stop and we did, we didn't find them all at one spot. We found a couple um, in a town about 30 minutes from here and we ended up finding the rest of them in Winona at the Target. Um, but anyhow, it's a little bit different of a video. I do have a really important update slash rambling video coming up ahead that I really wish you guys would check out. Uh, it's kind of important to me and just, I'm basically going to go over a lot of stuff of what happened in this last year and where maybe we might be in the future. But in, anyhow, if you would, please go down and leave us a like and subscribe. Leave comments, let us know that you're actually watching the videos and let us know what you think, what we can change. So, we'll check you guys later.